little saddened by the fact that 535 members of Congress could come together in one breath, fully condemn the horrors of what Israelis experienced. And that there is now only maybe few handful of them who could get to the point of saying, we condemn the slaughter of Palestinian children, of mothers, of fathers, of grandmothers, of grandfathers. Where is your humanity? Hey, welcome, guys. This is TSP, Rob Shiva. This is the podcast. So, you know, this is Elon Omar, and I don't know what everybody feels out there, but, you know, I look at her as not just a people like to put her in the position of being a Muslim woman, but look at her as just a woman, you know, look at her as just a woman who has the ability, like every other woman, to have a child inside of her, come out from inside of her into the world, who knows that feeling, and listen to what she's saying, speaking from a female perspective, you know, as a mother, you know, and uh, you have to sit there and think about that. Put all the religion aside. What she's saying, you know, is very true. And I always talk about having a subjective approach to this as well, not just the macro approach, looking at it from the world's point of view, but also looking at it from yourself, you know, trying to empathize in some way, you know, and it's hard. It's very hard. There's a lot of feelings behind this, but I always think that no matter what you feel, your opinions on certain things and, you know, politically uh, or, or religious, that when it comes down to the life of, of children, especially when it comes down to that, that we could put all these other things aside and say, wait a second, these are children that are in the line of fire that are getting killed and that we could think logically and go beyond the realm. You don't have to use religion or anything else here. It's just pure humanity and the level of humanity. That's what she's talking about here. She's not even putting herself as a Muslim. She's crying out as a, as a woman and as a mother, you know, as a person that, that, that deeply cares and is concerned about the state of what's happening in Israel and Palestine on both sides, not just one, you know, and, but we know the argument here as well is that one feels neglected and the other one who has power is the one that's kind of uh, dominating uh, the presence there with force. It's not a cool thing, man. And, uh, you know, I always try to emphasize that aside from all of our uh, cultural, uh, religious, political perspectives, just the humanity of it is what you look at. But we're going to take a look at, uh, at another video as well, you know. 